Hi, I'm here with my insurance agent and also friend, uh, Jennifer. Explain who you are and where you work. So my name is Jennifer Berkey. I am an agent with Advanced Insurance, a broker for about 15 different companies, doing all lines of insurance from commercial to life and health, and of course, property casualty, which is your homes and your cars. Wow, that's quite the introduction. Uh, do you have any special talents? Maybe singing? Can you give us a sample? <laughs> no she sample. didn't know we we're going to do this. No. Something? No sample. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing at all. No, I'm just making up. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe at the end we'll get her to do something. So, All right, so basically, tell me why do we need insurance for our house? Um, so basically what I do with insurance is I analyze your risk and then I advise you of what your risks could be. So really you want to have insurance hoping that you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, so let's say you're in a car accident or you have a fire in your home or even theft or vandalism, um, you'll pay either a deductible or pay a little bit higher premium to have no deductible and we'll put you right back to where you were. That's called indemnity. So right back to where you were before. No better, no worse, but perfect. Wow, that sounds pretty exciting. Yeah. So, um, so tell me, uh, so what's the difference between you and the big box? You know, the other people. So you can call, text, email me 24 hours a day. Let's say your rate changes with what a, uh, whatever company I've put you with initially. The benefit of having me is that you still get to keep me as your agent, but I can reshop you with other companies. So you don't lose that personal touch that I have. I know your family. I know your policies. I know you. Um, so you don't ever lose that, but we can still switch you companies and try to save you money and get you really good coverage. Okay. So if I don't own a house and I rent one, what can I do with you? You can do renter's insurance. You can do a personal liability umbrella policy. Um, so let's say you work out of your home or you have, you know, um, a higher liability, a higher risk than most. We can cover you for both. Oh, that sounds pretty good. So you sound quite, how long have you been doing this? You seem pretty smart on this. 16 years. Wow. You don't look old enough. No. <laughs> I started in high school, believe it. Yeah. So that's yeah. awesome. So, all right. So tell me more about this umbrella policy. What is that? So you'll have an underlying policy like a car, a home, or a renter's. An umbrella is exactly what it sounds like. It's going to cover all of those things underneath it um, for an excess amount. Usually it's $1 million, $2 million, depending on if you need more than that, we can get you more. But those are the levels. So let's say you have an auto policy. State minimum in, in uh, Nevada is $25,000 per person bodily injury, $50,000 per accident. Um, we require that you have at least 250000 and then on top of that, we'll give you a million, so $1.25 million to cover if you were to hurt somebody and be found liable. That's our lawyers, our attorneys going to fight for you to make sure you're not paying that out of pocket. Okay, so you know I'm a cyclist, you know, uh, even though I don't look like it, but I am a cyclist. So some of these bikes are pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, they range anywhere from maybe two grand up to six, nine thousand dollars. So what happens if one is stolen from your house? What What's the process on that? So um, depending on the type of claim that it is, you'll call the company, you'll file a claim and say that it was stolen or vandalized, whatever the case is. If you've purchased a policy that has a low deductible, um, you'll basically pay your $500 deductible or we'll pay you less your deductible. So if it's a $2,000 bike, we'll pay out $1,500 and you'll be out $500. Um, but there's also other policies you can use, like a personal articles policy. So for instance, camera equipment, drones, bikes, jewelry, even wedding gifts. Um, so some people will um, insure their wedding gifts so that while they're on their honeymoon um, and while they're at the wedding venue, nothing gets stolen. So there's lots of options for things like that as well. Wow, that's further than I thought. So do we need to have receipts, proof? Or how do we know that the bike is worth three, four grand? Most companies will typically have you keep your receipt. Um, if it's within 18 months, we'll accept that receipt. If it's outside of 18 months, an appraisal is probably a good idea. I always tell my clients, take pictures of things. Um, if you have musical equipment or televisions, um, expensive computer equipment, uh, take a picture of the SKU, take a picture of the item and of the receipt, email it to yourself, chances are if you get broken into they're not going to steal you know your receipts so email it to yourself um, and you won't lose out on those and that's a tip I did with my bikes as well so what if I'm traveling I'm going to uh, to go ride and it's taken off the back of my car is that the same thing um, it is so 
it depending on the policy that you have let's say it's taken off the back of your car your car insurance is not going to cover that your home or your renters policy would cover that for personal property now i know some companies depending on the company will give you a certain amount of personal property coverage for your cars that's typically for businesses though. So if you're um, like a realtor or something and you've got a laptop in your car, if you're traveling from place to place, you may want to look at some coverage for that as well. It's business personal property. Interesting. I think I need to look into that. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, all right. So my last question is, what is the oddest thing you've seen? Oh my gosh, it depends. So um, we also insure artificial limbs gold teeth, um, things that you wouldn't normally expect, but people need them. So if, you know, a prosthetic or something needs to be insured, we can do that for you as well. Pretty out of the ordinary, but we insure that also. All right. If somebody needs to get a hold of you, how do we get a hold of you? Um, you have multiple ways, actually, to get a hold of me. Um, the quickest and easiest way is to call me at 702-805-8885. You can also email me at jennifer at advancenv.com or find me on social media at Jen at Advance. That's Instagram um, and Jen at Advance Insurance on Facebook. Those are the best ways. Okay, so we're closed with this. Can I get a little something, a little singing at all? Maybe just oh a little goodness. bit. Can we get something? I don't even know what I would say. Just singing. say something. And uh, <laughs> something. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the I'm national honest. anthem? Oh, that's the, that's the hard one. Oh, my goodness. Um, let's see. Who's, it was your birthday last month. It was. It was. Okay, so. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank doing you. this. Thank you for having me.